Philippe de Valois became King of France in 1328. He succeeded his cousins, who were the last of the direct Capetian kings. The seventh Valois king in a direct line was Charles VIII. He married Anne of Brittany. The following year, she gave birth to a son and heir they named Charles Orlon. Anne would go on to have more children, so the direct line of succession looked secure. However, King Charles VIII died suddenly in an accident at the age of 27. His heir to the throne, Charles Orlon, had already died of measles at the age of three, and none of the other children had survived. Next in line to the throne was Charles VIII's second cousin once removed, Louis d'Orléans. He became King Louis XII of France. In his will, King Charles VIII called for his successor to marry his widow, Anne of Brittany, if he should die without an heir. In spite of complications, such as the fact that he was already married, Louis XII set about making that happen. He married Anne, and she was pregnant almost immediately and gave birth to a healthy child. It was a girl who they named Claude. The problem was that because of the Salic law in France, a female could not inherit the throne. Over the next 15 years, Anne of Brittany had eight more pregnancies, but in the end, only one other daughter survived. So next in line to the throne was Louis XII's second cousin, the young Francois d'Angoulême. Seeing the writing on the wall the year before he died, Louis XII organised the marriage of his daughter Claude to Francois. When Louis XII died on New Year's Day 1515, Francois became King Francois I at the age of 20. Claude was already pregnant and their first child was born the same year. Claude ended up having seven children, including three sons, and unlike her mother Anne of Brittany, all but one would survive her. When Francois died at the age of 52, his son became Henri II. Henri II and his wife, Catherine de Medici, had five sons. Three of them would become King of France. That's Francois II, Charles IX and Henri III. But against the odds, they ended up being the last of the Valois kings in France. 